Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel All About VA. In this session, I am going to talk something about batch activity or a custom activity wherein we are going to call a Python script to do something. So what is the Python script intend, intended to do? That's what I'm going to tell now. So we have a file in uh, data like storage which we want to copy to a different folder as well as we have to convert it into XLSX. Okay. For now, uh, as of now, we don't have any um, uh, sync that is supporting XLSX conversion. Okay. In data factory or snaps analytics. Uh, we have to uh, depend on either Azure function or uh, batch activity to do this, right? So this session is uh, going to show you how do we convert a CSV file into an XLSX and store it in the data lake storage. That's what I'm going to show you. Okay. So I have an input folder wherein I have a test.csv file. It's a simple CSV file with a couple of columns and a few rows. Okay. This I want to convert it into XLSX and store it somewhere in the demo container itself. Okay. This is my requirement. So how do we want to do that? First of all, we have to create a batch account and inside the batch account, we need to create a pool. Okay. So this is the overview of my pool that is working for me. All right. So you can note down the operating system that I have chosen here, the virtual machine size. Uh, okay. These two are the important things. Apart from that, the dedicated nodes that I'm using is num one. Okay. I, I just need one node. I don't have too many jobs and too many parallel things and all so i just want one node okay so this vm is dependent on the quota okay what quota if you go to your batch account you will see something called quotas sorry bear with my voice i lost my voice due to the cold uh, that i recently got so if you go to a uh, batch account and click on the quotas you will be seeing under uh, which series you have quotas allocated so i'm using a free subscription so for the free subscription i can make use of av2 series otherwise i can make use of dsv3 series okay so like this you have to see and create a pool this is the this is going to be the uh, first prerequisite of running the python code okay um, and then if i have to show you the start task I haven't got a very big thing at all. I'm just asking you to install XLSX Writer module, okay? Because we ha we have to convert CSV to XLSX, right? So I'm just asking uh, my start task to in install this module before it can run our Python code, okay? And then uh, I have to use user identity as pool auto user admin, okay? These are all certain things that I wanted to show you. Apart from this, we won't have to do anything here. I'll go back to my Python code and show you what it does. <coughs> in case you want this code, you, pl you please let me know in the comment section uh, with your mail ID. I'll be sending it to you. It is a simple Python code. You can f find uh, a reference in Google itself. But, but then if you want, you let me know in the comment section. All right. So the first set of lines are importing the required modules. Uh, and uh, necessary prerequisites okay so what we are doing is we are just mentioning the connection string which will talk about the service account name the account key storage account name not service account storage account name and account key why we want to mention the storage account name the account key of the storage account and all is we have to deal with files in data like storage so we need to mention which is the storage account and which is the account key we have to provide authentication right so we need to do all this and then suffix we have to mention as core.windows.net okay so this is just to frame in the connection string and then we are telling which is the uh, container name in which we are going to do the copy and conversion and then we have to do certain we have to create certain objects for the container client blob service client in order to access the uh, file actually okay so this is all talking about blob service client but it will work for data like storage as well there is uh, there is nothing uh, different from what i'm showing for data like storage and blob storage okay so we have created a reference to container client blob service client and all and then after that what we are doing we are taking the uh, all the elements that are present in my container okay once i have created an 
object or reference to my container client i can use that to list my blobs okay i have created an object using that object i am listing my blobs out of these blobs <coughs> i am just looking for one particular file of name test.csv in the input folder okay so how it will be listing all my files is and <coughs> whatever files that are outside demo container whatever files which are inside folders everything will be <coughs> listed like test3.py input slash <coughs> test.csv like that it will keep on listing the blobs that are present in my data lake storage okay and then coming here <coughs> i'm checking if the blob name is test.csv and that resides in input folder uh then i'm going to do the copy and conversion okay <clears throat> so before that we have to form the source url this will be pointing to the container name in which we have the actual block that has to be copied okay <clears throat> our intention is copy the csv file from input folder to output folder and then do the xlsx conversion all right all right i am mentioning the new blob that has to be created okay here i am mentioning output slash this is the file name that i want to create in the output folder after copying okay and then after i mention the source and the new blob name i can make use of get blob client method to uh, actually let my code talk to the blob you know, okay to create a new blob and all so after i have created a object for uh, Uh, blob service client i can make use of that object to start copying from the source url so this particular line is going to copy from the source url to the uh, destination blob that we have mentioned all right with this one half of our requirement is done we have copied the source file from input folder to output folder in the name test_tar.csv okay up to this we are good and then we have to do a conversion to xlsx right <coughs> for that what we need to do we need to use the uh, container client object to download the blob and then after downloading we are using <coughs> pandas library to read the content as text okay this read csv uh, is meant to read the contents from a csv file okay so i am reading the contents of the csv file and creating a pandas data frame which is called red file okay and then i am declaring a buffer object just to hold the content that i have read and then what we are going to do we are going to use the same <coughs> pandas library and using the excel writer method we are going to <coughs> set the properties to do the actual excel sx conversion okay so the engine that we make use of here is xlsx writer for this only we included pip install xlsx writer in the start task if you remember and then once uh, we do this declaration we can um, convert the csv file into excel file using two excel function okay so one more thing that i want to show uh, tell you is while we read the content of the csv file and create a data frame we need to mention index underscore column equal to zero otherwise for every data frame we will get a index column additionally which will also get returned to the xlsx file which is being created okay so once we have declared this engine and then converted to excel we are going to save the workbook okay and then finally what we need to do is it is all being done in the buffer okay we are not doing anything physically until now because if you see here we are using the buffer in the excel writer and after we do this writer dot save the buffer will be updated finally we have to do one more step in order to save the buffer content to the actual blob in the data lake storage that is what we do here we uh, reset the uh, command or reset the pointer to the beginning of the file and then we declare the connection string properties and then using the upload blob function of excel blob client we are uploading the whole buffer content into a file uh, 
okay uh, from buffer all right in the blob name test dot xlsx in the uh, <coughs> connection string that we are mentioning and in the container that we have already declared so that's all about the code now i'll run my data factory pipeline I'm simply calling python test three dot python. Okay. I'm having the python file in my root folder, so I'll just choose demo container and say OK. All right. So if I run my pipeline now, what we should be seeing is we should be seeing this CSV file getting created in on 12 31st 2022 this has to be overwritten and then we have to see an xlsx file outside okay so let us see if the code gets executed so the pipeline has executed successfully it took 35 seconds initially during the first run it might take up to three minutes for the nodes to be uh, up and running okay subsequent runs will not take much time so if i see here in my uh, data lake storage test3 dot test dot xlsx is created as well as in the output folder i see tested underscore tar dot csv file being created right now okay so this is how we uh, do csv to xlsx conversion in data factory or synapse analytics pipeline and uh, if you have any questions let me know in the comment section and thanks a lot for watching my videos all through the year and providing comments and support wherever required and once again sorry for my bad voice and wish all the subscribers and viewers a very 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 happy new year 2023 thanks a lot for watching keep supporting